Hello guys, it's me, Zell. We're here with another episode of Arcane, League of Legends show. We're on episode 5 today, and it's called Everybody Wants to Be My Enemy. Last episode ended with a classic Jinx bang. Tried to make a show of it. Mike in a fire, some people die. Caitlyn's like, yo, what's up? Caitlyn wants to be a little investigatory she, on her own. She got kicked out. She's mad at Jace because he's like, you can work for me. She's like, F you. I don't want to do that. She wants to earn things on her own and other people around her are making that difficult. But what's she gonna do? Sometimes you gotta take that in to make your own way. Just saying. Yeah, I feel like Victor's gonna start to do some stuff of his own just because I know what he looks like in game. And I feel like with his health, that's probably just gonna be a way to, again, Victor is like, Darth Vader, machine-wise. I'm still waiting to see Echo. Oh yeah, in the big reveal, Caitlyn, Miss Vi is in jail, and that's who she's going to be discussing with, because Vi took care of a witness that Caitlyn wanted to question, so yeah. Anyways, that was a little up-to-date where we are at this point, so without further ado, let's just get to it. Ooh, that's a nice, I like that. That was very satisfying art. Here's Caitlyn, perhaps. Nice. This seems like her a bit younger. Do you think they flash back? Nice. Is that the family crest? I like that they give all the young kids. Oh, it was her. Grayson? The trophy is yours. You earned it. You haven't answered my question. It really is an interesting <laughs> direction no, of making them have a little pay. gap. I just you thought you'd amend it. What are you shooting for? Ooh. Can you just send in whoever's gonna kick the shit out of me so I can get on with my night? What? Uh-oh. Where did you get this? You enforcers are all the same. Just asshole criminals in fancy uniforms. You know what? Oh, Find no, Caitlin's different. I will. Thank you. She better let her. Is she gonna let her go? She I've would be the perfect person. She's like, I hope I don't regret this. Although I think you're making the right decision. Sad. Fathers. Unfortunate, Sons. tragic death. I'm sure there is. Oh. Daughters. See, there's always average <laughs> Joe folks that are just getting caught up in the shenanigans of corruption and crime. <gasps> Wait. Who Wait. Was this, Daddy? Okay, that's not supposed to be Annie, is it? Wait, was that the butthole who turned her in? You said you could control doing you a favor. They do so good I at doing I the animation and the motion. Job. Like his body language. Uh oh. We've accomplished a lot together, Marcus. Marcus! Sheriff, See, that's so tragic. I hope you can remain a part of it. Wait, so his was it his wife that died? Because that was his daughter, or she was just there supporting him? Gosh, there's so many tragic stories in here. I mean, even Silco is a tragic story. These manifests are full of discrepancies dating back to corruption runs deep, Sheriff. I intend to root it out. Have you Ooh, made any progress with the stolen? Starting with you, Marcus. Yes. Chief Oh no. Oh no. Oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no. Don't fall. Yeah, don't you see the blood on his nose and on the post right there? Hello? Here goes. She made a mini one. Oh, man. No, it was a mistake. It was a mistake. It was a very, very tragic mistake. I heard the bathysphere has a nice view. Well, she's like, well, I have to follow you. You're my prisoner, kind of. Wow. Dude. Intense parkour. You don't know who you're messing with. Nice jacket. Wow, that's hilarious. Hmm. I'm still not following. They think. Oh, I love him so much. You think Hextech can I know that stuff's all gross, but it does look really good at the same time. <laughs> uh, 
That's very Star Wars feeling. I don't know why. No, thank you. It does look like good. About what? Gross good. Hey, there you go. Look at his face. I love it. Look how happy he is. A crazed cook. Dang, her hair's so long. Yeah, this is their, like, that last... Their chase. In their little arcade game place. So it's just been sitting there. Oh. You little turd. I don't like you anymore. So she's not bad at punching either. Dude, she has so much pent up anger and trauma. <laughs> oh, Heimer. I, I feel you. Compromise the safety of the hex gates for collapse. You push this on me. You're a symbol of the Don't future budge. now, Jace, whether you like it or not. But he's here now to negotiate all his deals personally. Councillor Talis is willing to oh, reinstate all the trade privileges to House Talis, you'd be the first in line to any of our advances. No! What? Don't do it, Jace. How can I say no to such an auspicious offer? Corruption looks bad on you. Don't play into their Hexed hands. No, it makes my heart sad. They're all corrupt in their own way. Victor, help him. Heimer is probably the only non-corrupt one. Huh. This is a brothel. She's like, illegal, illegal, illegal. <laughs> oh, bubbles, do we think that's, um, Nami? I don't think you work here. Excuse me, your name? Matilda. But you can call her whatever you want. Oh, no. Yes. My parents named me Matilda. Oh, no. After my great-grandmother Matilda, the... Oh no, she's terrible at acting. Would you believe it? Hmm? Imagining yourself a hero. Wait. One final act. To Is make he you setting the her up? Always seen yourself. Ah! Dude. Oh. You're the only one I can trust with this, Jinx. I like how she's always up there hovering. Fear haunts us all, child. I, was I feel like he almost is using mother. her, and the kids. her calling her a child. I mean, she's still young, the but no one down here lifted a finger to stop Silco. To keep her vulnerable, you know. But Silco's got the muscle. <laughs> uh oh. <laughs> she's just gonna leave her there. Caitlin's maybe Caitlin is natural coming to around. She likes the I ladies. The couldn't have done it without you. I don't know. I feel like she's using him. I mean, she's using him. Like maybe she does actually like him. Do you think it's just manipulation, or she actually likes him? Victor has the right idea. He has a self. You know, there's a selfish component to it, but he has a good heart as well. Are you headed home soon? She's a crush. We could walk together. Oh no, he's I'm, too focused uh, in the work. Probably going to sleep here tonight. There's always tomorrow, right? She likes I'm, you, Victor. Yeah. My heart. <laughs> oh. oh my. This is this used to be Jace and him, and now it's just. Wait, Victor's gonna get hurt because of this. Oh no, Jace, you're getting caught up. I mean, it's fine to have a break, but... Oh no. No! Why are they doing this? Wait, is the Hex Hex gonna pick up on the blood? Somehow? <gasps> wow. What imagery. Oh no, what is this gonna do? Okay, I think she actually likes him, but... What did this do? Is Victor okay? Please go look for him. I almost drowned in these waters. Blah, blah, blah. Did I miss anything? Don't be rude. He listens to your stories. I've got a new one for you. I let a weak man die. Him? Is he trying to do like a... 
baptismal almost. Kaginaga was reborn. He wants to do the same for her. You're strong now. Wait, I Just well I said all that earlier and now he's helping her become Kaginaga. stronger in herself. Is he actually gonna hold her underwater for a bit? Wow. Oh, they have the music in in the. That's cool. That's probably based off the band, huh? I don't know what they look like, but please find Victor. Oh, he did. How much time do I have? No. Wow. They're toying with our emotions too much. Dude, not even. Nope, just going right for it. Does she have a mechanical arm or something? Yep. Whoa. And it just goes into the arm, so she's not out of control. That's kind of interesting. Yeah, that hurts anybody. Nice. That's a lot of strength to lift up her fully by the torso, man. Look at her competing with this person using this powerful substance and a machine. Arm. Where is she keeping her? Keeping her? She works for him. Yeah, what do you expect, Vi? She didn't even react. Caitlin, are you gonna come out of the woodwork and help her? There we go. Nice. Nice. He's gonna know we're here now. That's so cool. You gonna help me out, Cupcake? Good for you. My name is Caitlin. But you're so sweet. Oh. Like a cupcake. That's cute. She's like, yes, I'm fabulous. She's back. Ooh, he didn't like that. From the dead. So she's been, okay, wow. So this whole time he thought that she was actually dead. So was she like hiding? She like maybe changed her name or hid in prison or something? Or was somebody else protecting her? Was it, in fact, Marcus? Because he kind of like rescued her in a, in a sense. So I'm a little curious. Uh, we didn't really get too much backstory on that, but uh, there's a lot of interesting things going on. We don't know what Marcus, well, I don't know Marcus. I may have missed the whole, like him trying to set up a fire spark or whatever with the grenade. I don't know if he's trying to find them and kill them, if he's trying to, if, He's expecting him to go on some mission. I don't know. He's clearly having an obviously rough time. I mean, from the get go, he set himself up. He lost Grayson. He's like, you're killing officers. But he's like, I'm already invested in this now. Like it got him in that position. He just wanted like commendation. But yeah, it's kind of like people who make a big sacrifices and then you're kind of on this train of making choices that you wouldn't otherwise make, but you feel almost entrapped into it because you've sacrificed so much. So that's what Marcus kind of feels like. Um, Jinx has been, in a sense, reborn through that baptismal that um, Silco himself went through. So Jinx is feeling, reclaiming the title Jinx fully. And as you can see, kind of helped her refocus and hopefully put some of that stuff aside. So she was able to accomplish that. I'm still a little confused on the whole text tech um, equipment. Like what are they gaining from that? Is it gonna be a transportation sort of thing is it that portal i know that's like some of the original things that victor and jace work on but i don't even know what the original point it's just maybe them discovering be able to harness the magical power into machinery i don't know so i'm um, still figuring that out i'll let the scientists in the show <laughs> deal with that uh yeah victor dying like rapidly is very saddening and i hope jace gets his show rolling or maybe miss young somebody's gotta find some technology to help him like like he's not gonna die like or maybe his fi but physical form will die and somehow a part of him will survive i mean we still don't know the after product of his blood getting in that hex text vessel 
So I don't know what's going to come of that. Is that going to be a sense of his life form in there and his physical body as we see it and know it will die? Or is that somehow going to give him capabilities to survive in this machine-like mech? We haven't seen anything outside of the claw that I recognize from game that was part of his suit, his little laser thing. But so that's to be, that's to be homo hopefully, you know, shown some more. I'm guessing next episode, they'll probably delve into that. Like I said, he's one of my favorite characters in this show so far. Jace, mister, I mean, I don't mind a little side relaxation relaxation and you did come to your friends once you found and discovered and you're watching him but don't go down that path of corruption get re like have this be a wake-up call that there are more important things to worry about like people he said like they started with making risky choices and they started with working together and and doing what was right for the purpose of change and in the future and progression and betterment for people and now he's getting into the politics of it and showing the corruption. And he initially had a good idea, but now he's through love and manipulation and fear of losing this newly found power. He is deciding that he's going to try a hand at this game they play, which isn't going to be, it's just against the grain of who he is, who he initially would want to be. So I don't know, maybe he'll have a chat with Caitlyn. Maybe Victor will help him snap out of it. I don't know. That's a sad part of it, but uh, Caitlyn and Vi, like obviously um, we're gonna see Caitlyn and Jinx, aka Powder, eventually meet. This is a big wake up call for her to realize, oh, she's actually working with Silco. She's like, wow, she's working with the man that destroyed our lives is how she probably views it. And also like probably, <laughs> yeah, her number one enemy. And Caitlyn is getting wrapped up and, and understanding and working with this. She was very unfamiliar with the underworld before this, but now she's through Vi is getting familiar with it. And maybe she's, there's parts of it she likes or parts of it she, she understands. And um, I think it's good for her to experience that especially for somebody that seems to want to do justice for a good reason like she's like maybe lawful good right um and she is is sweet and and smart and talented and i can't remember if in the game if they have have a relationship or if they're just best friends yeah it kind of hints at like caitlin vibing with the ladies or both i don't know <laughs> Yeah, I think that was everything. Everything. It's sad to know that all the council members are corrupt, except I would imagine Heimerdinger. Heimerdinger. Hopefully he'll, again, I'm hoping Jace will have some discussions that will lead him back on his original path. Even Meg seems like she maybe has the right thing in mind, but she thinks she has to play this game to make change because that's what's been going on for so long. <sighs> I don't know. So it's, it's, it's an interesting show and it, a lot of tragedy and... Again, trauma, the usual going on, a lot of, but a, a lot of interesting, exciting things. Um, artwork, I love that scene sticks out, that nature scene, just when Caitlin's in the competition of that, the frost on the leaf, it's just very beautiful. Like they just keep having moments like that. And the way they're depicting, like, I don't know if they use mocap in this, but even like Mark is sitting in the chair talking to Silco and he's like tapping his leg and he's like, clearly like stress like they do really good like body language um depicting someone's emotional state well so it's just really cool so yeah anyways that was a really fun episode learned a lot more and we'll continue to learn more and a lot of fun things and cool things that we saw but on that note we'll end it there thanks so much for watching guys show your support by liking the video and comment with some thoughts below and also, if you're not subscribed already, do that. Push the subscribe button. Turn on notifications if you want to be alerted when an episode goes live. An episode. My reaction goes live. I'm finishing Arcane. I'm watching The Witcher. And I do a lot of Marvel and Star Wars shows as they are released. So check those out. See you next time. And thanks for watching. Bye.